and we are live again this yep. is the first show of 2024 yep starting yep. 2024 with what brother overload again exactly brother overload <laughs> end of the year and it's going to start the year maybe it will carry on and that's it this will be a brother <laughs> a brother's only show <laughs> and Mars listening now saying no nah. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a brother just like us, eh? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Happy New Year, everyone. Happy New Year. Happy New uh, Year. Welcome to 2024. This is going to be a great year, you know. This is going to be a great year. Yeah. I've got, I've got a funny feeling about it. I've got a funny <laughs> feeling. I've got a funny feeling. It's going to be a good year. And do you know what? Our last, uh, which was our last podcast, the one that came out, it was the one where we did the, we did the um, review. The yeah, review. people liked that one. Yeah, people liked it. Yeah, let us know what you think. If you if yeah. you listen to it, if you listen on you know on the streaming, if you uh, watched it on YouTube, either way, let us know what you think of our recommendations for the year or things that we think were shit or good or whatever. Reach out to us. Mm. On all the socials. You got uh, Instagram. You got X. You got uh, t- I was going to say Twitter. X and yeah. Twitter. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> you got X. Uh, you've got YouTube, you've got all of that. Yeah, so reach out, let us know what you think. And if you reach out to us, maybe you can win a prize. Mm. Maybe we've got prizes coming the in 2024. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. So, yeah, so there we go. Uh, so, yeah, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the show. So, for anyone that has just come across the show for the first time, we talk about movies, streaming, uh, hidden gems, news, all kinds of stuff. So, you're going to get everything all wrapped up in about 45 minutes or so, just enough time for you to get from home to work and back again. (laughs) Maybe. (laughs) All right, cool. So, yeah, let's start the show. What we got first? What we got first? Okay, first we have a shout-out. It's a special shout-out. This is one of our favourite listeners, one of our favourite flicksters by the name of Zachroff. Go check out his page on Instagram. Uh, And it's a special shout-out because... Obviously, because he's a, he's a special person, but it was his mm. birthday just a few days ago. Happy birthday. Uh, happy birthday to Zakroff. I think he's about 25 <laughs> years old. He's a young lad. <laughs> he's not really, but, you know, <laughs> he's a young lad. And he's going to come on the show this year. We're going to make it happen. Forever 25. Yes, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Forever 25. But, yeah, he's going to come on the show this year. We're going to make it happen. Last year, we almost made it happen. This year, we're going to make it happen. So, like I said before, this is going to be a great year. So, Watch out for that one. And Zach Roth, happy new year, happy birthday, and we'll see you soon. Yeah. All right, cool. So here we go. So we're going to start off with some news. Mm, this news is a bit alienish, isn't it? Oof. Oh, man. <laughs> it's a bit alienish. So we've got Alien Romulus. Do you know what? I like the name Romulus. Do you know what? What does it mean? Romulus and Remus it comes to mind. Romulus, oh. isn't that like Greek? Is it? It sounds Greek or Latin sounds or something, Greek. isn't yeah, it? Latin, yeah, yeah, exactly. Romulus. But yeah, do you know what? Alien, how do you feel about the Alien franchise overall? Like, what's your... You know what? I, I, I feel... If I was to compare yeah. it to a lot of other franchises, yeah. Alien has, has maintained. I mean, that's been, that's been kind of going good and yeah. strong for a good 45 years, isn't it? Since 1979. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Good maths, mate. Good Ridley, maths. Ridley mm-hmm. Scott. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about it? I do. I mean, Alien 1 for me, it came out, I mean, that's my year of birth, 79. So I wasn't ready for it when it came out. I saw it years later. I liked yeah. it. But for me, Aliens, the second one for me is the best one. You know, yeah. uh, James Cameron. Yeah, James Cameron, isn't it? Yeah, so James Cameron. Uh, and that one there was just like, that was wicked. Even to this day, when it comes on, I gotta yeah. watch it. No matter what yeah. I'm doing, I stop and watch it. You know, you got Vasquez, let's rock. <laughs> All those bits. Oh man, it's just got so many great. Bits I remember on. watching Aliens. Um, yeah, I was, I was what, I was born later. So for me, it, it was. Do you remember Blockbusters? Oh my gosh! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Blockbuster video. Yep. yep. Yeah, and being Before a child Netflix. and not. Yeah, you're not allowed to be in the room when we're watching this, and mm-hmm. I'm, I'm there, sneaked behind the, the yep. sofa. 
and be like, oh, <laughs> I regretted, <laughs> regretted doing that. <laughs> I thought, yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But yeah, do you know what? Romulus, I just found out. Romulus mm. is, from Roman mythology, is the son of Mars. Okay. Mm, son of Mars and the founder of the first king of Rome. So it's got those you know, yeah. mythological... Uh, you know, uh, leanings to it. But yeah, so long story short, Romulus, Alien Romulus, mm. the timeline. So this is the film that's going to be released in 2024. I believe it's August, August the 19th, I think. Okay. Uh, and this one is, Romulus is going to take place between Alien and mm. Aliens. So Alien happened in 1979, Aliens 1986. Yeah. And that's the, that's the, you know, the release date, but obviously in the film, I don't know what year it is, but yeah. that's the timeline it's going to take take place so it's going to be in between that so interesting mm. interesting I'm looking forward to that to see but it's a different director in this one though oh yeah different director uh, yeah the director is the person that did what's that film with he the did guy uh, from... Texas Chainsaw Massacre yes uh, yeah, out, yeah. F- Fede Al- Alvarez yes, Alvarez yeah yeah yeah, there you go. yeah he did there you Texas go. Chainsaw yeah. Massacre and uh, Don't Breathe yes yes and evil yes, dead yes yes oh my do you know what Did, you know what i'm yeah i'm looking forward to it now i'm, like, uh, <laughs> I'm looking forward to yeah, it yeah he's got a grasp of it apparently mm. like do you know how um he came about to do this how apparently he's uh been a diehard fan of uh of alien and oh, okay. um on a casual he basically casually pitched it to oh. um ridley Okay. And uh, Ridley liked it. This was like years ago. Mm. And then Ridley hit him up and said, you know that idea of yours? You still mm. interested? And then he, <laughs> Alvarez was, just jumped on it. And was ah. like, yeah, hell yeah. Okay. So yeah. And, and then there's going to be a series as well, isn't it, you said? Yeah, there's going to be a series. So oh. following uh, rom- uh, the movie, there, should, uh, there will be a, um, a series that will be coming out. Okay. Um, yeah, and that will be coming out on Hulu, so okay. Okay, cool. we'll be looking forward to, forward to that. All right. It's supposed to be actually um, the the series is going to be premised before Ripley, so but oh. and placed on uh, based on planet Earth. Oh, so, yeah. Is mm. it? Mm. Okay. Interesting. This could yeah. spark a whole new like interest in the Alien franchise. You know, if they do mm. it right, this could this could be decent. Yeah, could be decent. All right, cool. Okay, so we're going from aliens now to monsters, more monsters, wolves. <laughs> uh, so this is uh, Wolfman. Uh, like, you know, are you a fan of Wolfman? Uh, like, do you uh, believe in werewolves? Werewolves, but you know what? My favorite version of uh, the werewolves is the lichens from... Um... Oh, was... Underworld. Underworld. Kate yeah. Beckinsale. Yeah, yeah. yeah you yeah. just like Kate Beckinsale about <laughs> liking <laughs> anything you liked was Beckinsale, mate. <laughs> I know you got a, a poster of her just off camera, isn't it? To the side, <laughs> just to the side, in her tight leathers. <laughs> oh man! But yeah. Oh, yeah um... <laughs> exactly. It was it was a good franchise. I mean, it kind of reminded me a little bit of Resident Evil. As in, you got one uh, like powerful female lead with mm. multiple sort of uh, you know sequels in a monster type environment. So they yeah. kind of did lots and lots and lots. So it was it was it was it was uh, successful, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, the world franchise. So what's what's it about this one then? Oh yeah, I forgot what we're talking about. Yeah, we're not talking about the world <laughs> over. Yeah, so this one is uh, so Julie Garner, who we saw in Ozark, and we wow. saw her in is it Being? Oh, what was it called again? That 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 series on Netflix where she was lying and she was tricking people. But we've ma- we've mainly seen her in Ozark. Yeah, uh, she's going to be in the new Wolfman reboot. Uh, this is going to be done by Universal and Blumhouse. Mm. Uh, Blumhouse, we know them doing all the horror films, you know, Saws and uh, Annabelle's and yeah. Conjurings, all that kind of stuff. Uh, and actually, the Lee Winnell, who we first saw in the original Saw, has been mm. involved in Saw. He's going to be uh, directing this one. Okay. Uh, he also directed uh, The Invisible Man, which uh, came out in 2020. Oh, that was good. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, 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 that was good. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. Elizabeth yeah. Moss star with that. So, yeah, Julie, Julie, Julia Garner, she's good. Mm. And she probably will make this film a success so look out for that one when it comes out uh, i believe next year i believe right. it's gonna be yeah 2025. 2025 yeah 
So cool. interesting. Um, next bit of news, uh, Stephen Yun. What has Stephen <clears throat> Yun been up to? So we we heard uh, a while ago that he was going to star as the Sentry in Marvel's yeah. Thunderbolts, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And we know what the movie industry is like. Something sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. It is so fickle. It can be yeah. just so quick. <laughs> and now, from what we understand, is Stephen Yun due to diary conflicts and stuff like that, he mm. can no longer be part of Marvel, and he can't be the Sentry. So he's now out. Are you disappointed? Do you know what? No, I'm not really bothered, you know, to be honest, because Marvel, for me, I'm pretty sure he's probably just bullshitting about the diary conflict. Yeah. He probably thought, do you know what? Marvel is just going downhill. I don't want to be part of this downhill trajectory, and I'm out. Yeah. So maybe he's just thought this that. Looks, and... This ship looks like it's sinking. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I can't sit here and say, oh, yeah, I really wanted him to be the century. To be honest, yeah. anyone can be the century, as long as they're a good actor and they've got the, the presence for it. Mm. Uh, not many people have, well, we've never seen the Sentry really on screen or he's not really a well-known character so there's mm. space to grow for any good actor to fill those boots so yeah yeah the Sentry yeah. if anyone doesn't know is basically like a Superman version but in the, the Marvel world so he's you know he's, he flies he's powered by the sun as well solar powered yeah you've got to be uh you know really uh, you know, carbon neutral and all that kind of shit now. So, you know, <laughs> environmentally also friendly. Got a split personality as well. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> he, he suffers from that, yeah. yeah. Exactly. So, yeah, so that's that. So, no more Stephen Yun as the century. Uh, next bit of news is what's Disney. this? Uh, Mickey Mouse. What's going on with Mickey Mouse, man? What's going on? Uh, it's all the Mickey Mouse, isn't it, though, right? Like <laughs> 2023. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope that it ain't gonna carry on to 2024. But yeah, Disney's uh, Disney's earliest versions of uh, Mickey Mouse copyright has unfortunately come to an end after 95 years. And uh, I only found this out uh, turn of what the new year 2024. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, this is yeah. And basically, what that means is that Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse is now in the public domain after 95 years because. With with the copyright laws, anything that's been copyrighted after 95 years, it expires and then it becomes public. Mm. So, um, so he first featured M Mickey and Minnie first featured in Steamboat Willie, which was uh, their debut animated short, uh, which was on the 18th of November 1928. Mm. So, it's, so it's a little bit over 95 years, but that because it's now in the public domain, it means that you and I could actually use the likeness of, of uh, Mickey, mm -hmm. Mickey and Min Minnie Mouse. Mm -hmm. um, and and um, did you know that there was actually a, before Steamboat Willie, Mickey Mouse was in a silent movie um, called Plain Crazy, which is now in the public domain as well. Okay. Um, however, because of copyright laws, there was a later version of uh, of that um, mo short which had sound, and because of it's two separate movies, mm -hmm. that one comes out in 2025. Now, the reason why this has come up is basically because I've I've seen online a couple of uh, people who were you know proactive and they must have known about this because there's a couple of uh, there's one movie that's an untitled Steamboat Willie horror film. Um, <laughs> <laughs> there's a, a movie that's coming coming out this year uh, called Mickey's Mousetrap. And the difference is, is that with copyright, you and I can use it. However, we cannot confuse um, the, the public mm. with regards to who actually came up with the character. So... Okay. So, do you remember? Was it last year or the year before? There was the Winnie Pooh, Winnie the Pooh. Oh yeah, um, yeah. horror that film. Was a horror, yeah, yeah, that yeah, was a yeah. horror film. The same thing. Like you okay. can tell, you can tell clearly that the Winnie the Pooh horror movie was mm. not Disney related at all, right? So, so it's fair game. Anyone that can now do what they want to do with Mickey exactly. Mouse, so it, could, it could open up a lot of stuff, especially online. And yeah. instantly thinking of all kinds of 
merch and all kinds of stuff that people can maybe get away with now that they couldn't do before. So it's exactly. interesting. Yeah. So we, we bring legal news to people. You know, we, we keep it <laughs> yeah. with all this, you know, so. But you okay. think that this is like, you know, you think that Disney will be worried about this, but mm. not really because Disney, because that's copyright law, Disney has a trademark as well. So that, because of the trademark, trademark, they can keep on using that for like a thousand years if, if they wanted to because okay. um, because it's a totally, totally de- uh, different part of the legal system with regards mm. to tra- uh, trademark. So if we did do something similar to, um, we would be infringing upon the trademark and we mm. could basically get sued for that. Okay. So yeah. <laughs> mm, okay, interesting stuff. All right, cool. Thank you for that. Um, and then Marvel Netflix. Hold on, Defenders are returning. Yes. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. So I heard. Um, I heard and had to confirm. But Marvel's uh, Marvel's Netflix Defenders mm. is to return. So to far Disney, to Disney Plus. You mean? Yeah, it's coming to Disney Plus. Yeah. So. so... I'm not too sure exactly which whether it will be Netflix or it will be Disney Plus, but oh. more more likely because I haven't confirmed that part. Okay, of it, okay. But it's going to be dark, and that's the reason okay. why I'm not too sure. Okay. But what I do, what we do know is that it's going to have like five episodes. Five mm-hmm. episodes will be coming out, and it's going to be canon to the rest of the MCU. Okay. And plan to come out after Daredevil: Born Again. Okay. okay. So yeah, most likely it probably will be, but you know, just on that, it will probably more be like on the Disney Plus. Okay. Um, and we're gonna see all, you know, they're gonna be bringing back all, uh, most of the main cast: Daredevil, Jessica mm, Jones. Mm. You know, my favorite, which was on the uh, um, Iron Fist, Colleen, uh, mm. Colleen okay. Wing, Luke Cage, uh, and everyone. Yeah. Well, no, Luke Cage. Oh might be recasted oh no 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 that's it you, 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 you've lost me you can't be recast no, he's, he, he is luke cage no sorry no 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 the reason that's the cool. reason why he possibly might be recasted is just because of diary and scheduling mm-hmm. he's quite busy they, sort that out. they can't yeah. just get any any next brother to take place no 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 he's luke I mean, cage. he was he was he was good the, my, yeah, yeah, my, yeah. the, the only thing i wouldn't mind recut him be, uh the only one I wouldn't mind being recasted is Iron Fist, the, the guy who played. Oh Iron yeah, 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 yeah. He can be recast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because let's yeah. face it. I mean, Shang Chi yeah. mm. is right now the the better version of yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, mar- yeah. martial artist exactly. in the MCU. Exactly. Yeah. So. All right. Cool. Nice one. Yeah. Nice one. All right. Well, let's see what happens with that one. Well, I'm um, I'm, I'm I'm hoping that it's going to be good because yeah. we, we're going to have like the writers show running from like Punisher and Loki, so mm, it should be okay. a lot better than yeah. Okay. All right, nice one. Thanks for that. Uh, so next we have what's new on streaming. So this is a, we've just got a couple, so we'll whiz through these. But this is just to show what's what's coming out on or what's out now actually from the time mm. this podcast is released on streaming and what you can watch. So uh, first on the list we have Echo. First on the list, we have Echo. 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 <laughs> <laughs> there you go. You got it. <laughs> so, yeah, so this is, uh, just like you said with Marvel, this is the series that uh, Marvel have got released, uh, similar to what we said with, with uh, you know, uh, Daredevil and Luke Cage and all those ones there. Uh, this one's out on the 10th of January. So if you're listening to it, probably released now. Mm-hmm. Uh, and this is going to be... Th- you know, they've they've actually put some trailers out with some yeah. fight scenes to try and tease people into this one. So by the time we listen, by the time we record our next podcast, we would have watched whatever they've got to offer, and we can tell you a bit more about what we think. But you know, mm-hmm. we we'll just let you know it's out now. So go and watch it. Yeah. You know. So uh, are you looking forward to it? I'm ho- I'm reserving. <laughs> yeah, me too. To be honest, I'm not hoping for much on this one <laughs> i'm hoping for much but we'll see what happens man we'll see what happens yeah uh, so your next we have uh what have we got next we've got who berlin berlin what is, if i say berlin what do you think this is capital of germany isn't it uh, well, yes, <laughs> yeah. I, I fell right into, i fell right into that one didn't i <laughs> but berlin did you ever watch money heist I, uh, no, I didn't. No. You guys were were really yeah, on that. Yeah, um, I liked Money Heist. Yeah. 
the Berlin is basically uh, a spin-off from Money mm. Heist. One of the characters was called Berlin. Okay. In Money Heist, Money Heist was a really sort of over-the-top uh, Spanish show on Netflix where they're actually a group of people, like criminals, are trying to mm. steal from the Bank of Spain to give back to the people kind of thing. And each character doesn't tell, they don't come to the group with their real name. They keep it, you know, secret. Yeah. Everyone calls themselves a city from around the world. So you've got Berlin, you've got Nairobi, you've got... Uh, kind of you know, taken different... from Reservoir Dogs, wasn't it? Yeah, kind of, yeah, yeah. Something like that yeah. with the colours. So yeah, that's the Berlin spin-off for Money Heist. Uh, so this is out now on Netflix. So give it a watch. Let us know what you think. I did ask uh, a friend of mine what she thought of it. Yeah. And she said it was dry. It was rubbish. Really? That was her, that was her thought. Okay. So you let us know. You, have a, you, know, you give it a watch. Flix Are they going to do a spin-off with think. each one then? Like no, no, Berlin no, no, and... no, 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 no. Okay. Berlin, Helsinki, uh, yeah. Rome. No, nah, that'd be too much. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> No, no, no. But uh, but yeah, let's know what you think. If you think it's good, if you, if you think it's shit, just let us know. Yeah. Uh, so that's what's new on streaming at the moment. Uh, so next we're going to sort of blitz through uh, new trailers. So this is a few trailers that have been released uh, and, and, you know, yeah. have a watch and let us know if they're tickling your fancy. Uh, so the first one is... Oh, this one. This Anytime I see these sorts of titles, American Nightmare. <sighs> <laughs> Is that Trump? <laughs> <laughs> it, could, it could be, you know. It could be. But no, American yeah. Nightmare. Do you remember we saw, oh, oh, what was it? Chris Watts, the Netflix documentary of that person, the man who killed his family. Oh. Uh, Chris Watts, he was, he was American something next door. Mm. American murderer next door or something like that. This is a similar sort of documentary. This is made by the same team that mm. made the Tinder Swindler. Oh, okay. You know yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna, it's going to have that pace to it. It's going to have that kind of look and yeah. vibe, and it's going to be really punchy. This is a mini series, three episodes long on Netflix. Looks interesting. I'm not going to give away too much, but it's to do yeah. with supposed murder, ki- kidnapping, and all the pff, all the details that follow it. So this one looks yeah. very interesting. So give this one a watch. I definitely will. This is that, that's out on the 17th of January. That one. Right. Okay. Next on the list, we have Lyft. Lyft, that's on Netflix as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, Lyft is, we mentioned Money Heist. Lyft is a heist movie. Okay. It's a heist movie. Kevin Hart is in this. So you already know what, what to expect. It's going to be comedy, action, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Uh, also, co starring next to him is Gugu. Oh, I might have to lift him up, innit? <laughs> Gugu Mbafu Raw. You know who she is, yeah? She's fit. Yes, exactly. So... <laughs> <laughs> I see you went quiet for a second. Just you sort of thought of your life together with her, isn't it? For a split second. That split second was 25 years in his, in his world. He's got different times. You know, different, it means a different time. 25 years just passed, isn't it? You had a whole, <laughs> a whole life together. So, yeah, so Lyft... Uh, is going went to into the quantum us. realm. Exactly. Oh. Man, <laughs> Lyft is gonna come out on Netflix. Uh, it's really soon. Uh, action comedy, Kevin Hart, Google and Buffy mm. Raw. Give it a watch. Heist movie. They're basically stealing a hundred million dollars, and uh, yeah, they're stealing money. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why we glorify these things. It's bad. Why we? Uh, I don't know. It's mad, isn't it? It's probably because it's, it's going to be. It's like impossible to do to oh, modern days. You yeah. know what I mean? So. It's, Going back to the good old classic when <laughs> something like that would be possible. <laughs> for a good reason as well or something. I don't know. Uh, okay, next on the list, we have expats. Expats? Yeah. What's so, you know, like... About, man? Uh, I, I know what expats are. Like... It's a posh word for, <clears throat> for uh, refugees, isn't it? <laughs> 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 isn't it? I don't know. I mean... <laughs> posh word for refugees or immigrants. Immig- not refugees, sorry, immigrants. Yeah, immigrants. immigrants. Posh word for immigrants. You know? yeah. Uh, but yeah, this is this is going to be on Amazon. This stars Nicole Kidman. And this looks like one of those sort of, I don't want to say old school, but like more mm. traditional dramas. Where right. You've got people that are characters and they're intertwining with other characters. You know, Nicole Kidman 
I'm not sure if she's American in this or Australian, but she basically goes yeah. to Hong Kong uh, as an ex- okay. expat. Uh, so just a, a quick one-liner. An expat is what? Just for people that don't know. Uh, it's a person who has moved to another country and resides in that country. Yeah. <clears throat> and thinks, does it come in? Are paying they, their taxes. And, yeah. Uh, in fact, they go for a job, isn't it? Like a, a yeah. job, a job, I think. It can be a to... job or it can be just, uh, you know, retirement. Oh, okay, okay. To, okay. Yeah, because there's a lot okay. of expats that live in Spain and, and, and yes, France, aren't yes, there? So. Yeah. But it's immigrants, but then it's a posh word for people that come from affluent backgrounds to mm-hmm. ex, you know, ex, is it expatriate or something? I don't know what the long word is for it, but the people that don't have lots of money that come to other countries are called immigrants. It's the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same thing. But anyway, this looks like an interesting drama. It's going to be on Amazon. It's a few episodes long. Nicole Kidman, great actress. And this looks like a bit more of a, a deep drama. So, right. yeah, it could be one to look out for on Amazon. One of those sort of sleepers that you don't really hear being spoken about, yeah. but are really good. So, cool. yeah, give that a go. And then the next one, the last one on the list of new trailers, is Ard Kane Season yeah. 2. Okay. I was, I was surprised about seeing this one, though I shouldn't have been surprised. But, you know, with Netflix, Sometimes they take ages to, you know, mm. to green light the next episode or the next season, sorry, um, of uh, a good a good show. Yeah. And um, I, I came across this one and it's Arcane. It's an animated, animated series, um, which uh, for a lot of fans, it, it, it spins off on the uh, League of Legends lore. Um, oh, okay, okay. Yeah, so... It's uh, it's 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 piqued my interest because there's a character called uh, Warwick, and um, there's it involves experimentation, um, betrayal, um, like a, a, a family member, a family member daughter that's passed away, and you know trying to you know sort of this Frankenstein resurrect resurrection and stuff like that. So I might take, I might give it a go and uh, watch the first season and uh, um, in in uh, prep for this one. So yeah, yeah. I started the first season. I haven't finished it yet, but I'm telling you, it's a good, it's a good. What do I call it? Animation. It's, it's yeah. good, man. The graphics are wicked. The uh, the voice acting, everything about it is really good. It, it, I, I know it got massive reviews when it first came out. People are still yeah. talking about it. Yeah. So season two. I'm not surprised it's taken a long time because that sort of animation, it's not easy. Because uh, yeah, because um, what I read is that it, you know because of the uh, the way that it was created, it, I think it's Netflix didn't invest any money in it, so they left it mm. to the actual um, uh, people creating it, okay. and so it was re- the original one. Correct me if I'm wrong, but it was like released two episodes at a time or something like that on oh, okay. I'm not sure on Netflix. That. Okay, but yeah. So this second season, I think it's it's the same thing, but mm. uh, they may release it the same way, or they'll just release it all in one go. I don't okay. know, but yeah, it, it seems like it's worth it's going to be worth a watch based on you know on the first season. It was mm. really really good. There was a lot of people that was talking about it. For me, it was just like I think the reason why I didn't jump on it was mm. it was described to me as an anime, but the okay. style of it wasn't, yeah, it, it, it was too different from the anime that I'm, I'm used to. So mm. I was, yeah, I wasn't too sold on it, but I'm going to give it a, give it a go. Mm, okay. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Well, definitely everyone give Arcane season one a go and then wait for season two to come out because you won't be disappointed. So yeah, yeah definitely. All right, nice one. Thanks for that. Yeah, so that's the last on, on the uh, trailers. So next we are on Anniversary Corner. This is where we look back at a movie uh, that's hit a certain trigger point. So whether it's 10 years ago, 2014, or 30 years ago, 1994, we look mm. at one movie and just have a quick sort of chat about it just to jog your memory and say, yeah, this could be a movie to revisit. The film we're going to talk about today is one called The Forgotten. See, many people forget about these that? films. The <laughs> Forgotten. Uh, this is 2004. This is 20 wow. years ago. 2004, The Forgotten, starring Julianne Moore, Dominic West, who mm. we saw in The Wire. We've seen him in 300, a bunch of other stuff. 
a uh, really good actor, actor he is. Julianne Moore looks the same in 2004 as she does now. I don't know what she's eating and drinking, but she needs to carry on doing it. <laughs> the Forgotten is a really, it's a good film, you know. It's a yeah. good film. Uh, basically, it's about Julianne Moore, Julianne Moore's character, who's had a tragic loss. Mm. Uh, and I'm not going to spoil it too much, but she, she's had a tragic loss. And uh, everyone around her, obviously, is helping her with this loss. And she's going through counselling. Bit by bit, in the movie, mm. people around her are starting to forget about the loss that she went through. This tragic oh, loss. So okay. Now and again, she'll say, oh, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm still sad about this person. And they're like, who? She's still mourning. Yeah. And, that and, and they're yeah. like, who? Who's that? And they're like, yeah. like, you know, this person. They're like, what? The people are forgetting around her. And then bit yeah. by bit, people start to forget her. People forget people's minds are being wiped and then you've got the the yeah. this this sort of clandestine organization but i don't know if it's a cia or someone chasing her as well mm. like people are looking for her and then you've got a neighbor of hers who's also going through the same thing who he forgot and then somehow she managed to get him to remember and then it's mad. Can you imagine that? That would be fucking scary because... it's very the way this film does it as well it's mm. mysterious it's it's just weird. Like, you don't know if she's going mad or not. And then you start to yeah. realise she ain't mad somehow. Like, there's such, such, such a powerful thing to get someone to forget. Such a yeah. powerful thing. But it happens in this. And when I say it's mysterious, it's this sci-fi to it as well. Yeah. When you realise who's involved mm. in the forgetfulness, it is crazy. You know what? It's just the thought of being hunted down by an organization and then the people closest to you they're, f- they're forgetting not just that you've you've lost you've lost a child one, but, they're yeah. forget- but they're forgetting you yeah and so uh-huh. you're just like wait hold on all of those years that you know you basically nurture Mate. the relationship with them mm. she sees her husband you ain't got on no one to- <laughs> she sees her husband on the street and she's like and he's like uh have we met it is mad and then you start to realise who is behind it. Yeah. Tell you, there's a couple of moments in this movie where you're watching it and mm. you will be sh- the surprise and shock yeah. of these scenes because it comes out of nowhere. And yeah. the way they execute the power of these people that are involved, the way they execute it, you know you ain't got a chance. And that's they're frightening. They're powerful. That- <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it because when, yeah. when I first saw it, I was like, <laughs> that's when you realise you're nothing to these people. You're uh, nothing but an experiment. It's mad. You've got to watch it. Yeah. The Forgotten, you can catch it on Raku 10. I'm sure you can find it elsewhere. It's only an hour yeah. and a half. That's old school movies, how they used to make them. Hour and a half, yeah. 90 minutes and get on with your life. It's a good film. You need to watch it. That's all I'm going to say, man. That's on my list, man. I'm gonna watch Put it that. on your list. Trust me, the forgotten. Don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget now. <laughs> okay, so next, uh, so now we're going to talk about our main movie for today, uh, and this one is called UFO. Kind of feels Ooh. like it ties in. I mean, I don't. tie in the forgotten. I didn't want to spoil <laughs> it too much. I didn't want to spoil it. But our <laughs> anniversary corner, our main film, and our hidden gem are connected, mate. Yeah, they connect. That's all I'm going to say. They're connected. So, Which used uh, to be, you know, sadly, it used to be with Marvel. They're all connected. Yeah. Well, I ain't connected to <laughs> shit now. <laughs> Disconnect. Uh, so, yeah, this is UFO. UFO is a good film. I came across it randomly on my sort of looking for hidden gems. This is also mm-hmm. a hidden gem. This is a hidden gem. This yeah. is. Uh, so, this is a good film. UFO stars uh, uh, Gillian Anderson stars mm-hmm. in this film uh, this was 2018 this was made was small budget so Gillian Anderson also has got uh what's the guy's name Alex Sharp what's the guy's name the guy no it's called David Strathan Strathan mm. uh, he's the guy that was in Jason Bourne he was one of the sort of uh top sort of people that was tracking down Jason Bourne if you see his face you'll recognize him uh, yeah. also stars Alex Sharp who is a maths whiz of a student. He's the main star of this film, Alex Sharp. Gillian Anderson yeah. is a professor, a maths professor. 
uh, and then this David straight arm person works for the organization. <laughs> There's always a organization, like you know, in X Files, it's like, yeah, a, remember assistant director Skinner? Yeah, it's like he's that. <laughs> so, was it so is it was is this connected to like uh, X Files in any no, way? Because no, Gillian Anderson way. being no, 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 oh, okay, no, not in any way, just, no. just coincidence, then, no. yeah, exactly. I, I, was, I was expecting to see Mulder or Mulder's sister in this film because yeah. you know, he was looking for Mulder, yeah. was looking for his sister for years. Um, but yeah, I was just I'll sort of quickly talk about the premise. I won't take I won't take up too much time because we've got a hidden gem as well. But this this film you can actually find on YouTube. It's on YouTube what? now, UFO. So for free you can watch it. This okay. is this is basically about a true story, true events based mm. on true events. So in 2007 in America, in Chicago, over the airport. Many people in the airport, including the people that work in the, you know, the communications tower. Yeah, the control tower. Yeah, control tower. Yeah. They they saw an unidentified, what they call it, flying the, object. No, the name's changed now. The, the film. Yeah. Should have been called, the film should have been should have been called UAP because it's now unidentified aerial phenomenon. But UFO sounds better, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so people saw this in 2006, hovering over the airport. Mm. And it caused mayhem. Wow! It caused mayhem. Why? Well, how long was how long was it up there for? Uh, mere seconds. Mere seconds. Yeah, mere seconds. Crazy. But people people saw it. They were chatting about it. Mm. The organization that I was talking about, this clandestine organization, came in to interview the staff to say, "Okay, so what you saw was just what did they say?" These MIBs. Many no, they, they, I think they said it was a weather balloon or weather something, balloon. something yeah. like that, where they can just say it was nothing, but they knew it was something. Mm. They were telling people it was nothing, and people were like, "Huh? We saw something, but nope." It was all over the news. Mm. So then this happened, and then this student heard about it, and he heard right. a discrepancy on the news because he's a yeah. maths whiz. This guy's a maths whiz. He yeah. heard the discrepancy on the news when someone said how far away it was from them mm. and the size of it. Yeah. And he was like, it doesn't no, add up. It doesn't add up. He said, if they, if, the, if, it, if they said it was this size and they were standing here, mm. they said they were able to cover it with their thumb at arm's mm. length. And by my maths, this thing had to have been this size. Yeah. And he figured that out and he called the control room manager and said, excuse me, what you said on the news was a lie because by my maths, blah, blah, blah. And the man was right. like, no, I didn't say that. It shook him. Yeah. And then bit, bit, bit by bit, this, this boy is now figuring shit out. He's calling, he's investigating. He's meant to be going to school, by the way, and he's, he's messing up in school. He's Professor yeah. Scully, sorry, uh, Gillian Anderson. She starts yeah. to notice that he's getting distracted and she tells him off and he's like, oh, I'm busy. So bit by bit, him and his friends are kind of figuring it out. It's really yeah. clever. This film is, it's maths. Maths is the universal language of the world. You know that? Yeah. Forget English, forget Arabic, forget Mandarin or Chinese. Maths, universally, one plus one is two everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure. Um, but yeah, so even uh, just to sort of divert a little bit, in 1978, uh carl sagan and is it frank drake these are two like top wigs uh, physio ph uh, astrophysicists Physicist, yeah. science people they sent out in a a satellite that went across to space in 1978 mm. the avicebo uh message within that it's got the information of earth who we are where we are in the solar system all this information to send out to any yeah. life that they, that they may come across uh, and <clears throat> the film's kind of hinting that maybe that was intercepted. That was the response. Possibly. Mm. Uh, so there's all this maths and all this stuff that, you know, they're talking about when they're trying to figure out the message. There's another quick thing that I want to quickly talk about. When I say this film is intelligent, this film's mm. intelligent, Emmanuel. Mm. There's a thing called uh, the fine structure constant. What is the fine structure constant? The fine structure constant is 0 0.0072975565647. Now, I'll shorten it, the FSC, fine structure constant, mm. 
yeah. is a mysterious number that appears in many calculations of the most fundamental physics in our universe. But right. they have no idea where it comes from. They can, they can figure out the maths, but they say the atmosphere of the stars, the air we breathe, even the shoelaces uh, have an uh, atomic makeup that include this enigmatic number. Mate, that blew my <laughs> mind. I don't know what they're talking about. I'm reading this. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. But in this film, they talk about the fine constant, the fine structure constant, structure constant being yeah. a thing that they need to try and figure out this UFO. And the man says, oh, the fine, this FSC, we can figure out how far something away is. We can figure yeah. out this and that, but we yeah. can't figure out this thing. And it's, it baffles them. And this young boy, he figures out a way to find what? out where this UFO is going to pop up next. Because they, they uh... can't figure out a place in space. They can't figure out a location of this thing, but they can, it's mad. It's mad. It, it, this film is intelligent. And they yeah. talk about Frank Drake, who... Have you heard of the Drake equation? No. The Drake equation is Frank Drake's uh, equation to figure out how many intelligent life forms there could be in the universe. This equation is a number wow. followed by, I think it's eight, eight uh, instances. The first one is uh, the number of stars in the galaxy. The next thing how is... How do they come up with this? Mate, it's, it's just mad. It's, it's like... crazy. The, the next one is the number of habitable planets yeah. in a solar system. The next question is, by those planets, the you know the, the, the likelihood that they're going to be near the Goldilocks zone of the star, yeah. meaning that they may have you know water and stuff like that. The next equation is, it carries on going. <laughs> and this, this equation is mad. This film is an intelligent film. If you're going to watch it, I yeah. warn you, Turn your phone off. Turn your phone <laughs> off. Yeah. Ha have you know, don't be hungry, don't be thirsty. Sit there for an hour and a half. It's a 90 minute film, just like the forgotten. Yeah. This 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 shows me 90 minutes is all you need. If you're serious about a film, 90 minutes is all you need. Like a football match. I'm you just, can get it sorted. Just, <laughs> I can just imagine my face watching this movie. Like it's good. It's on YouTube. It's on oh, YouTube. Really? It's free. 90 minutes. I've talked too much about this film. I don't want to give away too much because it's the sort of film, I, when I found it, I didn't know mm. much about it. I just thought, oh, UFO, it looks interesting, you know, but... Sounds like it took a, you down a rabbit hole, man. It's an intelligent all film, the, man. I need these, to watch it again yeah. because I need to understand this shit. It's, it's, it's mad. It's mad. Yeah. But yeah, that's all I'm going to say on this film, honestly. I've already spoken too much. You know, mm. this clandestine organization, you know, they, <laughs> they, know, they know where we are. <laughs> they know where we are. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Emmanuel. <laughs> All right, uh, I'm going to quickly do, I'm going to really quickly do a uh, hidden gem. Okay. Uh, I'm going to do. I don't know. I think we've spoken about uh, the fourth kind before. I was going to do the fourth kind as a hidden gem, but we've spoken about it before. Yeah. The fourth kind is oh, it's a really good film, man. It's got Mila Jojovic. We spoke about Resident Evil before. She's in this. Mm. It's a really good film. Go watch it. It's about alien abduction. It's the fourth kind is when they take you. So now I'm actually speaking about. It. I wasn't meant to be. Speaking. <laughs> That's <laughs> what I'm saying. <laughs> but uh, that's what I'm going to talk about. I'm going to talk about uh, The Signal. The Signal is a, for, a film from 2014, and it stars... It doesn't actually star, but it does include uh, Lawrence Fishburne. Also mm -hmm. stars Brendan... I can't say his surname. Mr. Brendan Thwaites. He was in uh, Titans on, X, on, on Netflix. You know Titans? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he's in that. He was the Batman kind of Titan. He was the, I can't remember his name now. Uh, this is, again, a bit of a smart film. Basically, mm. three college student type people uh, go, actually, Olivia Cook is in this film. She's good in this as well. Uh, three, co three college students go across sort of America on a road trip. Uh, and on, along this road trip, they're basically also the computer geniuses. It helps that they're quite smart with this yeah. kind of stuff. On this road trip, they start to get a signal, a signal that 
doesn't mm -mm, it's not a signal that you should be getting here on earth basically okay it's one of those signals that you're like mm, is it an is... audio is it an audio or is it visual it's a no it's a visual signal it's a visual okay. signal from what i from what i remember it's a visual yeah. signal and uh yeah they start to investigate where the signal's coming from mm. and they're like no this signal is like it's extraterrestrial man what's going on yeah so they get deeper down the rabbit hole deeper down the rabbit hole uh and Mm. How much shall I spoil? They don't, they don't find anything nice. I'm... They find something that they shouldn't have found. Oh, yeah. Oh, they, Pandora's they try... box, isn't it? It's the it's, whole Pandora's it's box. Pandora, <laughs> it's Penelope, it's Petronella, <laughs> it's Patricia. It's all the box is full of all of them. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, this this signal. Is a this this film is this film by the way is what you call a true sci-fi low budget film where again how long is it again? Don't mm. tell me it's ninety minutes. Don't tell me it's not oh my gosh, it's not, all these films are ninety minutes. That's all you oh, need to get a good man. film. This film here is where it ends quite crazily. They're in a place where almost like they are I think they're almost it seems like they're in another realm. Mm. It's weird. They, they, they almost get to a place where they're in another dimensional. Oh, this weird. It's weird, but it's it's very grounded. I'm, I'm explaining it a bit mad because I saw it yeah. a while ago, but it is very grounded. It's mad and it's very smart, intelligent. It's a good film. Uh, the Signal, you can catch that on... Where can you catch it? I think it's on Amazon or Netflix, one of them. Most likely Amazon. I'll try yeah, I'll rate it's, my first go. yeah, try it. It's rated a six on IMDb, but I think it mm. should be slightly higher. Uh, but yeah. yeah, 10 years old, it's aged very well and it's worth a watch. That's all I'm going to say. The I'll, tell you, I'll mm. tell you what, should we put a competition in? Because if the person, if if the listeners can work out the theme to this uh, oh. stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Genius. Genius. Yes. <laughs> exactly. If you, if you, yeah, there'll be a competition. If you work it out, there'll be a prize for you. This prize will be out of this world. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. So that's all your that's all your movie stuff for this week and everything. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, what's next? What's coming next, man? I don't know what's next. What's what's going on? Oh man, I I, I don't know. I I did not actually look into what's uh, mm. what's on the calendar. January. Um, it's in January. I think to be honest, I think I'm going to keep. I'm going to stay on the streaming this January. There's actually yeah. next week. I do want to talk about a film that's uh, or documentary. It's called uh, Con. Oh, it's a, it's a crypto documentary uh, where they crypto con. I think it's called. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, where people in the Something. crypto industry con people and rip yeah. them off for lots of money. So I do want to maybe talk about that. I might get my brother involved as well, who's uh, very much into crypto as well as right. I am actually as well. So yeah. yeah, maybe we'll talk about that next week. But yeah, yeah. Okay. Cool. All I right. Mean, for the UK, we got Priscilla. We got Night Swim. Oh, there's that uh, movie Night oh, Swim. Almost. With, was yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm. Where some creepy, uh, yeah, uh, spirit or something is oh, in the, in the water or in the pool. <laughs> you, you, you're struggling to get black black people in the pool anyway. Yet alone at night. <laughs> that, that film ain't for me. That film ain't for me. <laughs> you seen the trailer. <laughs> Marco, uh -uh. Polo. Uh -uh. Anytime someone starts uh -uh. playing that game, uh -uh. Uh -uh. <laughs> in the pool at night, mm. <laughs> I am gone. <laughs> oh, we got the time. <laughs> exactly. <I'm off>. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe we'll watch it for next week. We'll see how we feel. Yeah. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, yeah, it's been a good one. Yeah. Thanks again. Like I said, reach out to us on all our socials. You've got Facebook, you've got X, you've got Instagram, you've got YouTube. Reach out to us. Let us know what you're watching, what you're enjoying, what you're not enjoying. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time. Until then. <laughs>